Is there some paint chips? <clears throat> it's the original paint. This is the plastic storage stuff. It does have a little. Yeah, tire, brand new tires. As uh, American Racing um, aluminum wheels. And I am missing one hip there one the uh, lug nut there, I think it is the only one I'm missing. Engine three fifty Chevy. Only two petters. This is true dual all the way back. That's Racing fan, it pretty much goes flat when it's running for least resistance. I think it is an original radiator. Uh, you get one of those with electric fans, eliminate that racing fan that adds you about 30 horsepower. I do, it does need a new belt for the power steering. As far as I know, last time before the belt broke, it did work good. Um, High rise torquer intake. Battery 720. I also put brand new alternator in there. That runs good. That's got a brand new belt on this one. Uh, new MSD distributor cap. I just changed the oil not too long ago. It's probably got. 500 miles on the oil. I am missing the Camaro emblem on this side. I thought I had it somewhere. I'll look for it. Um, I did just put these back on. Molding strips. They were off the car when I got it. Uh, front seats. That one's kind of dry right. The driver is really the bad one. Uh, Hurst ratcheting shifter. I know I do not have the cover it goes over that and it wouldn't fit over it anyway Tape deck that does work. I think it's Cretans in there This floor floor has been patched as you can see that is a hole right there Floor has been patched. I think that must have been a bad um, This is a bad heater core and the dash is kind of Warped a little. All original glass. Glass has the antenna. Front glass has the antenna in it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I can't see in the watermark the antenna for the radio is in there. Um, sorry, I'm sitting my. So here's the top. Got a little dust on there. That's just dust. I had this. I got this cover that will recover the back um, speaker area. It's seen better days, but that cover will go right over there. Uh, I just have to cut out the speaker holes. And back seat's actually in really good shape. It's just a piece of, it's a leaf sitting on that seat. Uh, Floor, back floors, in pretty good shape. They had a little surface rust. And did I patch it? No, maybe it wasn't the bay. These are these are solid here. I put a little patch over there, just glued it in because I was gonna. It was only about the size of a quarter. I was gonna actually. Yeah, the other one is under the seat. There it is. Yeah, I glued one in there. It was. It was about two inches. That was about two inches long. Uh, the driver's seat seat. The rest is solid. Solid. Solid through here. Quarters are solid. Uh, Set gray primer. It's all solid under there. Tunnel walls all solid. Actually, tow board. So it's more this patch. You get all four for three hundred thirty-three bucks. All patch pieces. That is solid over there. I just haven't pulled the. I haven't pulled 
the sound deadener over there. I weigh 265 pounds, so if it was going to fall, it would have fell by now. But yeah, it's solid around here. Just some couple spots where she got wet from the carpet. Uh, this seat. Trying to be as full disclosure as I can. The seat needs redone, and the rail on this side is broke. It'll move a little bit. This horn button thing is, I got it glued on. The snaps have broke on it. That's a brand new ignition switch. Um, what else? Okay, the key just takes one key. Key matches over there. Let's see the new parts. It's all in good shape. Here, one little surface. Press the spot there. The doors are in good shape. Outer rockers are in a good shape. Uh, this side, this is the original, and this lock. I have, I have not put in yet. I have the lock, brand new lock. That's all three of those will be the same key and match. This brand new handle will go here. I haven't had a chance to put that in yet either. This here in this bag, the long thing, is the trunk one I do not have the key for. You can get one of these. This is the only thing that doesn't have it has a different key. I couldn't find that in a set. And these are the two old door lock uh, ones, I think. So you can open the trunk with a screwdriver. Just with, you just put it in the back trunk and twist through that hole there is what you were doing so uh trunk is solid a uh, little bit of surface rust this seal does need replace car is 44 years old as old as i am these surface rust here because water uh will pull here oh, that's why i have it it is in a garage it's in a heated garage has been um, my last garage wasn't heated, but it's been in a garage since I've owned it. It's been in a garage most of its life. A couple of years outside, obviously. Uh, rear glass is original. This actually isn't tinted. Actually has a piece of plexiglass, tinted plexiglass in that just pops right out. Uh, <clears throat> let's walk around this way. Okay. And I'm missing that bottom trim piece. This side. The same as the other, a little bit of rest there. Core, or the rockers are solid. Really solid. So she could use paint job. Should type it once again. Solid. Bit of wear mark where it's been striking. There. See my homemade patch. This is glued down with home. Glad again. It's it's solid, but it had a hole. I didn't want moisture. As I drive it, so oh, I guess I'm missing two legs. Yeah, all four brand new hand cooked tires with warranties from Sam's Club. Uh, original back glass has a date 1978 on. It's been a really fun car. It drives like a go kart. Super fun. It's pretty fast. It's you know, it's not like 400, 500 horsepower like the new cars. It's got a 300, 350 horsepower. We looked up the numbers on the 69. The engine that came out is 300 horsepower engine. 
it's got pretty much like a stage two summit racing rebuild kit that was done in the mid 90s a guy and his grandfather did and with a uh, gear drive that's just uh, timing gears instead of timing chain if you don't know what that is it just it sounds pretty cool it's got like turbo only bad spot in the trunk is this little bitty oh there's two actually there's one there Keep that covered up with tape. Solid under here. This is the extra belt. I mean, it's like I said, it's just solid. Tank's in pretty good shape. Tank's solid. These are how you get the lights out. And then those are little tabs are how you take the fins off if you paint it. Um, there's another little hole right, right here. Right there's another little hole. And that's pretty solid. I mean, if you've looked at them, or if you went and looked at any in person in Indiana, if they're not show cars and a lot of money, they're wanting a lot more than this. This is solid. It's just surface there. Deck lids in good shape. It does pits. Those pits are really coming out with the camera light. Not sure what that says. Mm, can't make a single word. It's been buffed. Ah. Uh, well, that's it. I mean, I had it up. I had told a few people I am coming down off the price a little bit. I had it up for 7500 at one time. I had it sold a couple of times on knuckleheads. Here and there anyway. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I put a new speedometer cable in it. It does leak like a couple of drops of tranny fluid from the speedometer cable that goes down where it screws into the transmission. Because when I ordered it, I ordered 78, and I didn't know I had 69 drivetrain. The TH350 three-speed in there might be from 69 as well. Or it may just need some plumber's Teflon tape wrapped around it. I don't know. It'll be somebody else's project because I have uh, other things to do. And I just need some cash or I wouldn't even be selling it. So, uh, good luck. I already had a ton of people interested in it so there's the video i promised a couple people uh good luck and thanks